Okay, in this video, let's see how to add a new Google account to an Android device. So, uh, for that, we need to go to settings. I have a settings shortcut right here, so I'm just going to tap on it once. Then the menu may be different for different Android devices and uh, versions, but uh, you just need to find the account section where you can add new accounts. So, I have it right here, so I'm going to just tap it once. Then, here I have different options the type of accounts that I want to add. So the first one is corporate, which is normally associated with um, email addresses with uh, Exchange Server, such as your work email address. You can set it up here. Even the IMAP is also an option if you're using a work email address. Uh, I have the email, Twitter, WhatsApp, Facebook, and things like that. So I want to add Google accounts, so I'm just going to tap on Google. Then it's asking me whether I want to add a new Google account or an existing one. I want to add a new, sorry, an existing Google account. So just tap on existing. And enter the password. Tap on next arrow. Increase the terms and conditions. You should have your network enabled when doing this because you will need the internet to do so. So just write that next. Payment options I'm going to skip. Now this is a critical part that you need to pay attention to. Now Google has several services online that you can also use on your device. So by default everything is checked here. Now it depends on your Google account. If you are using that Google account for several other services then those will be found here. So it is not necessary to um, keep all this Google services on your phone. Whatever services you don't want to sync to your phone, you can uncheck it here. And this is very important because this will be consuming your phone space. This will also be consuming your data connection. Sync app data. So this means um, whether I want to sync the um, applications the apps that I download from Google Play with this account but I want to sync those apps data I want to do that so I'm just gonna keep that I don't use blocker on my phone so uncheck by the way blocker is a blocking platform from Google calendar yes I want to sync contacts yes I want to sync I usually keep my contacts sync with Google so that um, I don't lose it even if I lose my phone, my contacts are safe, so I will always sync it with contacts. So I need that drive I use, Gmail I use with this account, Google Fit Data. I don't think I need that for now. Google Play Books I don't need, Movies I don't need, Newsstand I don't need, Google Plus. Normally I don't use it, but I'll just keep it for because I have an account set up already. Google Sync Photos. I back up my photos to Google, so. I need that. Google, Google Plus uploads. I'm just going to keep that. Google Sync Keep. By the way, Keep is a not taking application by Google and I use it very frequently. So I'm just going to uh, sync it. Sync people details. I'm just going to keep it. So, uh, whatever services from Google that you don't need on your phone, uh, you can uncheck it here so that uh, it does not get automatically synced. So, I am ready to go ahead. I'm just going to tap next that's it so we have added a Google account let's see whether that appears under accounts here yes I have the accounts here so now I'm good to go so whenever I open any of these Google services that account will also appear here 